Okay, the first question is, when is Salesforce going to retire the classic view? Oh, this is such a great question. Now, if you Google this, you're going to see a lot of answers and they might be all over the place. So you always, always want to check the date of answers and questions whenever you're Googling anything about Lightning. But here's what I know. There's no official information from Salesforce about the classic interface being retired. There are millions of users still using the classic interface, tens of thousands of customers and orgs still fully invested in classic. The current estimate, again, not official from Salesforce, but you know, estimates from the community, about 15% of customers are on Lightning. So 15% of the 3 million users on Lightning. So if you've been working with Salesforce for a while, you've noticed they have a long history of not stranding people. They don't strand partners, users, customers. So given all of that, if I had to make a prediction, I would guess that this is how it's probably going to go. They're going to continue to support both Lightning and Classic for another couple of years. Then at some point, they will announce an end of support for the Classic interface, probably with a pretty generous timeline. And then maybe around then, they're going to start to disable access to Classic for brand new customers. They'll just disable access. And probably th at that time, people will you know, start the mad scramble. But most users, most organizations will already be on Classic. So from my perspective, there's not a looming deadline. But saying all that, there is no additional development or enhancements being made to Classic. They are not improving Classic at all. And given all the things that we just talked about and what Lightning does better, I, everyone at this point should be planning their Lightning migration strategy, getting their arms around what it's going to take and have a date in mind because it will happen, but it's not looming. Okay, next question. Lightning still seems a little young. Is it really ready? Oh, that's another good one. So, you know, gosh, I'm going to flash back to fall of 2015. Well, that was two and a half years ago. Fall of 2015, Lightning rolled out. We'd been hearing about it for four or five months before then. So we got our first take at it and it, it was not ready. It was ready for us to see it. It wasn't ready really for anybody to start using it. I was a firm holdout, firm holdout until about 18 months ago with the Winter 17 release. That release, in my opinion, pretty much brought full parity with Classic. And since then, we've moved from parity into Lightning has features and more flexibility and better stuff than Classic. And that's why I put together this whole set of information for you. So my bold answer is, yes, it's ready. It's ready for you. Now, my realistic answer is, I have no clue what managed apps you might be using from partners. Are those ready? What integrations or customizations you might have in place? The amount of technical debt you might be looking at? But even given all that, it's still ready for you to investigate. Look into it. Like I just said, what is it going to take for us to get onto Lightning? But most of that's going to be from the back end, the back end perspective. There really isn't much on the user interface that isn't ready for your users. And, you know, if you're one of those lucky customers where you, you're using mostly native functionality, there's not anything holding you back for, from an end user perspective if you're using mostly native functionality. And again, I'm going to stress this. If you're reading articles and blogs about Lightning, check the date. Because comments that you might see that it could have been five releases ago, four releases ago, that may no longer be valid. And you might be reading old opinions and old rants that have actually been addressed. Okay, let's see here. What's the next question? Would you recommend Trailhead to learn Lightning? Yes. Yes. If you're a Salesforce admin and you're not on Trailhead, go sign up. Earn a few badges. Tackle a couple of projects. The lessons are really well designed and the challenges are fun. And, oh, also, you may have heard, I think it just came out maybe two weeks ago, the certification process for some of the Salesforce certs, all of that is moving to Trailhead off of Web Assessor. So for admins, developers, yeah, I'm a huge fan of Trailhead. But I have a huge asterisk on that statement. I actually don't recommend Trailhead for end users. Your sales, marketing users, sales support, New users, they need a more curated, guided experience. And I think Trailhead is too overwhelming for someone who is trying to learn, you know, quickly because they've got to get their job done. How does this CRM work? And, you know, there's like 
five or eight things that people need to master quickly to use Salesforce to get their work done. In my observation, it's it's almost like Trailhead gives too little and too much to be an effective option for end users. So I don't love it as a learning solution for that audience. Okay, let's see, we've got time for a few more questions. How long will it take my team to get up to speed on Lightning? Oh, so I, as an admin, I know it seems daunting, um, it, but you know, you're currently on Classic, really transitioning to Lightning for your end users, it's not that complicated. In fact, earlier this year, CBT Nuggets, we launched a series of nuggets specifically designed for the users transitioning from Classic into Lightning. And we cover all the core information, like what you used to do in Classic, how to now accomplish those specific tasks in Lightning. And we cover all the new features of Lightning that we didn't have that will really help them get more work done, get it done faster. So a lot of what you just saw, that's like a sampling of what we explain to your users. And that whole series is what, like 95 minutes of content? And so it's for the core end users. If you combine that 95 minutes of seat time with maybe one or two live sessions where you're explaining your sales processes, your expectations, what if it's a total of like three or four hours to get them off of Classic into Lightning, confidently using it? So I, that sounds good, I know. But I, I also know what's totally daunting is figuring out what people need to know, what order to present it in. And if you're not a curriculum designer or a trainer by trade, it's overwhelming to think about, you gotta manage that migration. Oh, and then you gotta turn around and train everybody on how to use it. So just know that there are resources out there to help you with the training part. So if you haven't yet, take a look at that transition to lightning series, just see how we approached it. And it's not as overwhelming as it seems, I promise. Next question here. Is Salesforce appropriate for a small company? Absolutely. And by small company, I know you could be thinking 25 users, 45 users, but I'm going to take it even smaller for you because I know there's this impression out there that Salesforce is so robust, so customizable that it's meant for large enterprise customers, but that really is not the case. I've worked with customers who've had three, five users, really small financial services or insurance offices, small nonprofits. And in some cases, we Truly, we like signed up for a trial, data loaded all of their data into accounts and contacts and maybe a couple leads, integrated with Gmail or Outlook, taught everybody how to use it and what we expected from them. And for most small companies, there's very little customizations needed, maybe adding a couple fields. It works really well right out of the box. So, and those small firms, they don't usually have an internal IT department or a database manager or developer, somebody who would like naturally become their Salesforce admin. And in those situations, I would teach somebody in sales or marketing, like a sales leader, how to be the Salesforce admin. And sometimes there would be like an external IT partner uh, with a contracted company. And I teach them together how to do some basic, simple admin stuff, adding fields to layouts or how to add new users, what to do if somebody gets fired. And with a small training investment for users and admins, you know, like 20 to 30 hours, those small firms are up and running on Salesforce. Look into this too. If you're wondering about Salesforce for small company, there's a new product available. It's just announced in the last few weeks. It's called Salesforce Essentials. It has the core CRM functionality that people love about Salesforce, but it doesn't have the full options for all the customizations and automations, et cetera. But that's okay because most small companies don't need that anyway. So that's worth looking into. Salesforce Essentials is that new product. Okay, so that is pretty much all of our questions. Let me just pause for a second and see if anything else comes in. I'm not seeing anything else, so let's go ahead and stop there. Thank you for your attention today. I really appreciate all of you coming, and uh, have a great one. Hope this has been informative for you, and I'd like to thank you for attending.